Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Scavenger Reviews here. Uh, I just recently watched a uh, new movie called Black Adam. Don't know if y'all heard of it. It's a pretty good movie. Uh, and I watched it Sunday. I went actually with uh, my Mima, and we watched it together. It was pretty cool. Um, and this is my review of the movie. First of all, to get it out of the way. Uh, if you want to, you want you want to just shut off the video now. You just need to know my thoughts. I loved it. Uh, getting into it a little bit more. I actually, for once, look at that. I wrote a script. Actually, I didn't write a script. It's more like bullet points. But hey, I'm making progress. All right. So, I think that the Rock's portrayal, like Dwayne Johnson's portrayal as Black Adam was fine. Um, would I say I love it? I don't know, but I definitely didn't hate it or anything, but it was definitely The Rock, you know? Um, Dwayne Johnson's kind of one of those actors where that's all they are, is you, you don't look at, uh, even like Black Adam, you don't look at Black Adam and see Black Adam. You look at Black Adam and see The Rock. You know, he's kind of like a Samuel Jackson or John Cena in a way. You know, I don't look at, like, other DC properties. I don't really look at Peacemaker and see Peacemaker, John, whatever. I don't even know what his name is. I think his name is John Smith, I think. Uh, but anyways, I don't look at I don't look at him and see Peacemaker. I look at him and see John Cena. So, um, and same with The Rock. I... More, more or less looked at him as the lock. But that's okay, because I like him. Um, but, see, here's the thing, is... Not, and, like, hear me out. Not that he can't make jokes, or not that, you know, the lock can't be funny and stuff like that, but not every superhero really needs to be a comedy. Like, there are bits of this that I really liked as comedy, um, for instance, the, uh, first of all, I do not know anybody's name. If you're not a comic book character, I do not know your name. Like, Black Adam, Adam Smasher, uh, Dr. Fate, Hawkman, Amanda Waller, Cyclone, somebody else I'll talk about. Uh, if you want a superhero... Or, like, a DC... Like, I mean, Waller is not a superhero, but if you're not a DC character... Bro, don't even expect me to uh, know your name. But... the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah. The brother... Okay. The brother of the main uh, girl is actually really funny. And I really like his bits of humor. Um, there's, like... it's I don't know if you'd say, like, it's his song... But, like, Baby Come Back is always playing, just, not always, but, um, there's a few scenes where he's listening to it, and then at the end he shows up and it's like, Baby Come Back, you know, and I really like that. Um, so, I'm not saying, like, the humor, like, I'm not saying the whole movie had to be void of humor, you know, uh, I just, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like Dwayne Johnson, like, he's kind of playing the fish out of water, um, character he's because like black adam was sealed away for five thousand years so it's one of those just bring someone from the past into the modern day and watch them react you know it's kind of one of those and that's fine those are fine but they are kind of tropey and the typical jokes do kind of come you know just with them not being uh like, what is this? What is that? You know? And stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the whole catchphrase thing I thought was pretty lame. The whole, like, tell them the man in black sent you. Sorry, tell them the man in black sent you. Uh, was kind of lame. There's, like, a bit where, um, he does, like, a gunslinger thing. And, like, why? Um, he learned it from watching the TV, because, um, I don't see... This is where I kind of, I don't even know if he zapped the TV, 
Like, I think the joke is is that he's at the TV because he thought there actually was a tiny little cowboy and that TV was going to shoot him. You know? I think that was the joke. But Black Adam, he's not, he's not an idiot. You know? I mean, yeah, he's from a different time and doesn't understand what a TV is. But they tell me a man this big is going to zap I don't, I don't know. But, and they even call back to it. Like, a moment later, there's, like, a scene where he's, like, I'm not, I don't know. Uh, he's, like, got his hand by his hip and everything, you know. Looking at you, about to, like, shoot you, you know. <laughs> um, I don't have a Black Adam figure, by the way. I should get one, but, um, I'm saving up money right now. Uh... But, yeah. And there's, like, part where, um... Now, when he is not being funny, and The Rock is just being The Rock... I mean, not being The Rock. The Rock is being Black Adam, and he's killing people. Because, oh my god, let me get y'all... Let me tell y'all something. They motorize the hell out of people in this movie. Um, they do not pull punches... And this ain't no Suicide Squad shit. I'm talking about the first one, not the second one. This ain't no Suicide Squad shit where, like, they're possessed or they're taken over and they're not really people. No, these are real people. You know, these are people with voice lines. Um, the very first kill of the movie is great. See, this is what I'm talking about. You definitely have humor. Um, there's, like, four guys in a row. And kind of spoiling, like... The first joke of the movie, but whatever. It, it helps my point. And the guy's like... The boss, like, the guy in charge is like, go check him out. And then the next guy's like, a hey, boss told you to go check him out. And then he looks to the next guy, and he's like, boss said it's your turn to go look. And then he looks to the next guy, and there isn't a next guy. You know, and he's like, well, psh, psh, psh. I guess it's me. You know? And he walks up to him. And, like, you're like... I don't know. And just... These are characters. I mean, that was, like, random soldier number four, man. I cared about him. He had... A, he probably had a family. You know? And he's like... He doesn't even come at him all aggressive. Uh, he's like, hey... I mean, he, do, he has a gun pointed at him. That is pretty aggressive. But he's like, I need you to show me your hands. And Black Adam grabs him by the throat. And then, like, starts electrocuting him and doesn't fucking stop. This dude grabs him by the throat and starts electrocuting him until, like... And you see a lot of it. It is very, like, very violent, very brutal. You see, like, the, um... You see, like, the flesh start to, like, kind of melt away. I mean, it's all, like, in, it, it, it instantly chars. So it's not, like, bloody, but it, like... It's like watching someone turn to ash. Like, I was like, holy shit. You know? And it is a instant tone setter. Because, like, that's, uh... This is what move you're in for. You know? This ain't your... This ain't your little grandpa. Uh... What is that? Like, this isn't your... This isn't your granddad's superhero movie. You know? It is a instant tone setter. And... I was... I, I was just like, holy shit. And then I was like... Holy shit, it's still going. Because he holds him for, like... I'm talking maybe like 10 seconds, like 15 seconds, you know, and just fucking cooks him, you know, um, and then he's like punching people and he's moving really fast and he's got lightning fingers, you know, he's really cool, and then when he goes out, um, out of the tomb, you know, you've got him and, like, he just starts destroying everything, and I love it, like, like I said, dude's just motivizing things, you know, and, um, I don't know, uh, Kondak was pretty cool, uh, yeah, I really liked it, I liked its portrayal, I liked it in the past and the future, um, <clears throat> I thought it was a little jarring that, like, I don't know, they just, I mean, the DC movies, as far as I know, it's not like, uh, it's not like the Marvel movies, where the Marvel movies take place in the future, not, like, super far, but, like, I think the Marvel movies take place in, like, 2025 or something. You know, and they're also just more advanced. But as far as I know, 
the DC movies take place mostly in like our world and our time and stuff like that. So where did the flying uh, motorcycles come from? I don't know. I just found out a little join. Um, but yeah, Kondark was pretty cool. I like the little kid. I don't remember his name. Like I said, he's not. If you're not a big name DC character, I don't know you. I like the little kid though. I was worried that he'd like kind of be annoying or like he'd either be annoying or he'd be very like um the heart quote unquote of the movie, you know. And he wasn't he wasn't either of those things. So that was pretty cool. Um, the Justice Society members are really cool. And I like them, uh, not equally, definitely Hawkman is my favorite, um, and I like them as an alternative to the Justice League, you know, you got the Justice League and you got the Justice Society, you know, and I also like that they're just there, you know, I don't have it in video or anything, so, you know, just take me on my word, but I've been saying for years that... Not everybody needs an origin story. Not every team needs a movie. You know, just um, just have people out there exist in the real world. Not everybody, you know, needs to be introduced. You know, and the Justice Society is, like, barely introduced. Like, they do introduce them, but, like... They're just there, you know, and that's like what the new Suicide Squad did and stuff like that. And, you know, I really like that. Um, you know, give the important guys movies and stuff like that, like with Black Adam. But Hawkman just shows up. Dr. Fate just shows up, you know, and let's talk about Hawkman. Um, first of all, I love like, the actor, like, I don't know him, I don't, like, love him as a person, but, I mean, I've, I've never seen him in another movie, this is my first movie seeing that guy, but I love him, I love his portrayal, um, quite, quite a good looking man, too, uh, but I love his portrayal, and he is angry, he's an angry boy, uh, god, I'm gonna hate myself for making this joke, but he's an angry bird, <laughs> but, um, yeah, and he stands, like, not stands, but he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Black Adam. And, like, where, like, the other members are kind of backed down, he doesn't. You know, he gets in Black Adam's face. Like, there's a scene where, um, they're in the hotel, not the hotel, um, they're in the house. And they're having, like, kind of a conflict of, um, not conflict of interest, but conflict of morals. And Black Adam, I mean, um... Hawkman walks right up to Black Adam, gets right in his face, looks up at him, because he's quite a bit taller, uh, Black Adam is, and is, like, yelling at him right in his face, and that's, like, damn, you know? That's, like, when your friend, like, um, like, y'all ever been somewhere, and your friend, like, stands up to the tall person, you know? And, like, you're, like, damn, I didn't know they had it in him. You know, this whole movie, he just, like, kept one up in himself, with, like, damn, I didn't know he had it in him, you know, like, it got to a point where I wasn't even questioning Hawkman anymore, um, something else with Hawkman I love is the humor, like, everybody else should have been cracking jokes, I don't, I really don't feel like, uh, Black Adam should have been cracking that many jokes, and maybe that's just me, maybe I just don't like, the, I, I don't know, but, um, there's a few scenes, like, where, um, Adam Smasher messes stuff up, and he looks at him and goes, and, and Hawkman goes, you, you and me, back at the ship, we're gonna have a talk, you know, and that's like, actually, it's, there's actually like, I think, yeah, the only one, but they even call back to that, like, later in the film, where like, Adam Smasher actually accidentally smacks him, and he's like, you and me, you and me, <laughs> you know, and I, I love that, it was great, um, Let's see, what's up next on the list? Uh, speaking of members, um, Hawkman and Dr. Fate definitely are the, um, definitely are the, uh, standouts of the Justice Society. And I really like Hawkman, and see, 
I know it's biased and I know it's wrong, but the Injustice games made me hate Dr. Fate. Because, see, if y'all haven't played Injustice 2, Dr. Fate in that game is what's called a Zona, which is which is a video game term for bad player or bad character. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's stupid, I know, but I couldn't look at it because that suit is immaculate. That is Dr. Fate. They, um, that's getting into another point, but they did not, uh, hold any punches with that. But I cannot look at Dr. Fate and not see Injustice 2. If you know, you know. Okay, if you play Injustice, uh, played Injustice, nobody plays it anymore. But if you played Injustice, you know what I'm talking about. And you, you've been there. And if you are one of those zoners, do not like my video. Unsubscribe if you are. I do not care to lose. I, I don't care to lose you. Get out. You ain't y'all ain't well with me and my boo, alright? Y'all ain't well with me and my poly but my part of town, alright? Well I don't like why I know I'm here. <laughs> anyways though, anyways though. Um that brings me on to my next point. Doctor Face really cool. Um I like his magic. He's uh he is not just Doctor Strange. And I was really worried about that going in. I was worried that he was just gonna do the magic. And, like, yeah, he does do magic and Doctor Strange does magic. But that's like, you know, that's like saying two gunslingers are exactly the same because they both shoot guns. Well, you can make it different, you know? Um, I don't know. Uh, that's like I was um, talking to someone on YouTube uh, a little while ago about Devil May Cry. And he compared Devil May Cry to Doom. Uh, like Doom and Doom Eternal. And like besides the very basic comparison of they both have demons and they both have guns. And they both have hell. You really, like, it's like that, you know? Whereas like, I don't know who you'd say is who. But one of them, Dr. Fate, is this game, Devil May Cry. And, uh, Doctor Strange is Doom. Or, it feels more like it'd be the opposite, actually. Yeah, Doctor Fate would be Doom, and Doctor Strange would be Double May Cry. But anyways, I digress. I'm going off on a tangent. I gotta get better at that. Uh, that also came from that guy. Uh, but anyways. Doctor Fate is really cool. That suit is immaculate. And I like his character. Um, I didn't really buy the whole like a uh, friendship between Hawkman and Dr. Fate like it seemed like they were like maybe lifelong friends or friends for like 10 years say um but I, I don't know it just felt very uh, superficial felt very surface level and like the second they were like you know old friend I was like one of those fuckers dying you know one of them dying you know and I don't know, they, um, they even bring that up, because Dr. Fate can, like, ha he has, like, premonitions and shit, and can see into the future, but it's not accurate all the time, it's just premonitions, and they even bring that up, and they're like, one of us is gonna die, and I'm like, oh, yeah, everyone saw that coming, but I, I don't know, um, I don't know, that leads me into my n -n 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 next part, though, is they embraced the comic, comic, accurate outfits uh black adam is easy to do you know um do, like in the comics he wears black he's got the gold gauntlets and gold boots and a black cape you know and that is a very easy suit to translate over uh hawkman on the other hand he's got the big dumb gold hel hawk helmet he's got the big old gold wings he's got the mace and I just love it. Um, I love how they are just unabashedly unashamed of this of themselves. You know, we have truly come. If you look at like X Men and like X Men Two and stuff like that, we have come so far. You know, if the if this movie came out in the early two thousands, 
I don't even know what it would have looked like. You know, I don't even know what it would have looked like. And that brings me into my next... I gotta stop saying that. This video is gonna become very redundant. But I want to bring up a specific case of Hawkman versus Hawkeye. And yes, I'm picking Hawkeye to pick on because Hawk. You know, as predictable as it is. Uh, but if you look at, like, Avengers in 2012, all the other superheroes have fairly accurate comic suits. But Hawkeye is a bit harder to translate. Because, I mean, everyone knows what a cap like Captain America should look like. And everybody knows what all the others should look like and stuff like that. I, like, Captain America might be the hardest, but I think they mostly pulled it off. Um, but Hawkeye is just black. You know, like, just, um, I don't know. He's, like, wearing, like, just generic shield uh, agent stuff. You know, he's, he's an agent, you know, and that's all he is. And it is taken all the way to, like, 2020, uh, is it 2021? I don't know. Whenever this show came out, it is taken all the way to this guy getting an actual whole-ass show dedicated to him to get a comic accurate. And it's not even still comic accurate. Give me the cow. I want the cow. You know, give me the dumb H on his head. I want that. You know, and just embrace it you know come on guys and it took them like eight years to get that to get as far as they have and like i said they're not even there yet but at least they got some of the purple on his um suit give me the purple just go for it you know and hawkman on the other hand right out the gate they nailed and like when you think of hawkman that is Hawkman, you know, like there is no, uh, there was no, uh, mixing it up or anything like that. There was no, like, like that's the definitive Hawkman, you know, like you've got the definitive Optimus Prime, you know, you've got a definitive Hawkman and that's who I'm going to ident identify the character as until the time comes. Before that, it was the, um, DC, uh, what is it called? I only watched a couple episodes. Leagues of Tomorrow? Legends of Tomorrow. Before that was the Legends of Tomorrow, uh, Hawkman. But now it's this guy from, um, from Black Adam. And, yeah, all the, like I said, all the other Avengers, they're fairly comic accurate. But they're easier suits to do. They just gave up with Hawkeye, though. You know? They were like, we're comic accurate enough. Just put Hawkeye in some, like, agent, agent uh, gear. Um, and I just really like that. Uh, um, with Dr. Fate, too. That suit is immaculate. Like, that blue and the gold trim? Dude, you know, who the hell is your tailor? You know? Um, spanking. You know? And then the gold helmet? I love it. And it's not, like... And I know this is, like, gonna sound stupid to say in hindsight, but I kind of, um, thought that they were going to put holes in it, you know, so he could have eye holes. They didn't do that, and I really like that. Now, the character does, like, the actor takes the helmet off in, like, scenes where he's actually talking, but I'm, I'm fine with that, you know, but whenever he's doing stuff, he keeps the helmet on, and I like that. Um, and I really did... I really did think that. I don't know. Um, something I really like is... Alright, so, as I talked about, Black Adam and Hawkman have this serious beef, like, the whole movie. Because Hawkman is, like, your traditional superhero. And he says that heroes don't kill. A hero should never kill people. And Black Adam is like that's that's wrong you should definitely kill your uh villains because like then they'll come back and hurt other people and they get into it several times and i forget where i was going with this point where was i going with this point something about hawkman and stuff um oh no something about black adam is 
I am so glad. And again, it kind of sounds dumb to like say in retrospect, but a hey, hindsight's twenty twenty, and I'm I'm certainly not. Um, I'm really glad that they didn't have at the end of the movie there'd be a point where Black Adam admits that killing is wrong or Black Adam goes back on his words and says like, you know, oh, maybe I shouldn't have killed those people or, and I'm really glad that they didn't have like Black Adam kill somebody on accident and him feel bad about that or they didn't have Black Adam kill somebody that he shouldn't have and they could have, you know, they could have used them or they just never did that. You know, They it would have been so easy for them to put in some kind of thing like that. And they kind of do with, um, this, like, at one point. But, again, I don't... See, I've kind of spoiled stuff, but I think all I've talked about is in the trailer. So, you're still clear as far as spoilers. Yeah, I've only talked about stuff in the trailers. Mostly. Anyways, though. Um, fuck, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? Uh, but they do not, he does not go back on his words, you know? Black Adam sticks to his guns, and all the way to the end of the movie, he says, like, you know, no, killing is right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill some more foes, you know? And I love that. Because a lesser movie would have cheaped out, and he would have learned his lesson, Oh, excuse me. He would have learned his lesson, and he would have felt remorse. Uh, he he had no remorse killing. He, yeah, so he would have felt remorse, and he would, would have felt regretful, and, oh, you know, maybe I need to control myself better. And it does happen, but, um... So, yeah, and like I said, catchphrases uh, are lame, and jokes are lame. Um... Yeah, let's get into spoilers. Alright, so, we're about... Oh my god, 27 minutes. Alright, we're about 27 minutes in, apparently. Spoiler time. Alright, you got 3, 2, 1. Click off, Mom. Stop watching. Superman's back, baby! Yeah, so Superman comes in. Yeah, um, I mean, I I have no words. Like, and I really didn't think they would do that. Um, like with the um Shazam post credit scene, you get Superman from like the neck down, and it's just the body, and he doesn't even say anything. And I really thought, if anything, they were going to do something like that, and. Boy, was I wrong. And I love being wrong when it comes to stuff like this. Because Superman is back. I mean, at the end, Amanda Waller, she dropped one of her drones in. Well, it flies in. It doesn't drop in. But flies in and puts a little hologram of her. And she's like, yada, yada, yada. And if you step one foot out of conduct, then... I'm going to make you, uh, you're not going to live to regret it, regret it, and Black Adam goes, no one on this planet can stop me, and she's like, well, I can call in somebody who's not on this planet, motherfucker, you know, she doesn't say that, but she's like, I can call in somebody who's not on this planet, and then, and boom, Superman comes in, yeah, uh, and it's Henry Cavill, He's back, and I really wasn't sure about that because um, there's been so much up in the air about them moving forward and changing direction and um stuff like that. And I only recently looked into uh the directors not of like the movies, but the director of like Warner Brothers wanted to move away from like the Zack Snyder stuff and move away from Superman and. He just recently stepped down, and Dwayne Johnson apparently went over his head and went to, like, the head of Marvel, I mean, uh, Warner Brothers, and, like, asked that, I mean, I mean, just, wow, you know, and I'm so glad, 
because another thing I've been saying, well, actually, not as long, but um, I was just talking to my Mima the other day that I really wish that Superman would be what Iron Man was for the Marvel Universe. You know, Superman, he doesn't need to show up in every movie. That'd be dumb, you know, but um, he should be the glue that holds the whole universe together. You know, Super, Sup Superman should be like um like Iron Man, you know, Iron Man, especially in like phase one, was like the connectivity, you know, he was like the central point, the central focus point. And I uh think that's what they should do for Superman. And it seems like maybe they are. I've heard a lot of rumors. I don't know what's true. I don't know what's uh what you can listen to or whatever. Um, but apparently, there's going to be a Man of Steel 2, and then there's going to be a Black Adam vs. Superman movie. And, like, oh my god, if we get that, if we get that, y'all, oh my god, I'ma go nuts. <laughs> Sorry. But that's gonna be crazy, because I'm not even that much of a Superman fan. You know, I like him just as much as I, not as much I mean if it was like the Flash who showed up at the end I would have been like oh hey cool the Flash you know um if it was like let's see uh who's a uh Black Adam specific character I do not know but say it was like Motion Manhunter you know cause he shows up at the end of uh Zack Snyder's Justice League say it was Motion Manhunter who showed up I'd have been like, hey, cool. Marshall, I, I, I know that guy. Marshall Manhunter. Yeah, yeah, I know you. Um, But y'all, I, and let me tell you, my whole theater did it. Oh, sorry. Um, my whole theater, like, the whole theater, everybody started like, woo, yeah. You know, everybody started cheering. There was some people clapping, you know. I mean, it, like, we went nuts. Not nuts. I don't know. Cause some movie theaters, people go way too far, um, way too far. Luckily, I've never, um, been in a movie theater like that. That's not true. I went there one time. I might make a video about that, just flaming those kids. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah. But, uh, but everybody lost their minds, and we were all cheering, and, like, and, and I even went, he's back, you know, cause, like, he's back, y'all. Like, ah. Like, I don't even like Superman like that. And I'm getting all pumped up and excited. I like him. Like, I mean, he's cool. But I don't like him any more than, like, it's Batman. You know, I would have been, like... I don't know, because... Well, yeah, actually, because Ben Affleck is also up in the air. Like, I don't know what's going on with Ben Affleck. So, if, like, Ben Affleck... Like, I don't know. It was just such a confirmation. And, like, if Henry Cav if Henry Cavill... Like, if they said he was coming back in a tweet, you know, or in an Instagram post, it wouldn't have been as much, you know, I mean, it would, I would have been like, nice, nice. But for them to bring him back in this way, because I didn't get spoiled beforehand, and apparently The Rock has been, like, posting all over his social medias about, like, this and that, and not being subtle at all that Superman was in it, you know, um... And I didn't check any of that, because, um, yeah, I didn't check any of that. Because whenever there's a new movie coming out, I always go, like, radio silent. Like, I go off, I, I go off, uh, all social medias. You know, and, um, I don't know. But, the way they brought him back, it just felt impactful. You know, I was, you know, like the, you know, I was like, yo. That's Superman, you know? I was like, that's Superman, you know? I was like a little kid again, man. And like, I don't even like Superman like that. Like, he's cool. I don't even like him like that, you know? But I was like, pumped up. Um, I don't know. And, uh, yeah. All right, let me get him back into a little bit more negative, and then I'll go back to positive. Uh, Sabak is like kind of a nothing villain. Uh, he is totally a PS3 boss battle. Like, I'm pretty sure I fought that dude in Dark Souls. 
um, or something like that. I don't play Dark Souls, but, you know, I'm pretty sure I fought that dude, uh, <laughs> somewhere. And I'm not even sure if it's, like, it's Ishmael, because actually I do know his name, but that's only because they said it, like, over and over. But, uh, is Ishmael Sabak, or are they two separate entities? Like, when, you know, the rock, like, um, Tef, Tef Adam, when he becomes, uh, Black Adam, he's still him, you know, I mean, he's still the same guy, so is it the same with Sabak? I, I don't know, because it just seemed more like it was just some random demon dude showing up. He had a pretty cool design, but he was nothing, I mean, he was, like, a nothing character, but that's also kind of okay, because it more is just, he's there to... He's there to service the plot, you know? Nobody really watched Black Adam for Sabak. You know, I don't think anybody was like... Like me, uh, when I watched Black Widow, I was super excited. And I was that guy who I watched Black Widow. Not for Black Widow. Not for her sister. Not, not even for Red Guardian. I watched it for Taskmaster. And then the horrible fucking twist with Taskmaster. And they changed the... Uh, it came out like two years ago, I don't care. And it's a crap movie anyways. Um, like they fucking changed the background and back his I mean the history and just God, it was just awful. I hated it. It was icky. Um Where was I going with that? Oh yeah, but like you know, nobody was watching Black Adam for Spock, so I think that's fine. Um When he went to hell though, uh, I'm actually stealing this from somebody. I don't remember, because uh, I watched a few things, but I don't remember who said it, but I'm stealing this point from somebody else. It is totally Spawn. Like, he goes to hell, and there's, like, the demons around him, and they're like, now we have our champion. You know? And, um, that is, that is Spawn. You know? You will rule my armies. You know? Like, I was like, what, where's my Boja? You know, is he gonna show up? You know, a violator over there? You know, I think that's violator. Y'all see that guy? You know, I was like, like I was waiting on this motherfucker to show up. You know, I was like, this, if I saw this guy, you know, like down there, just in the background, just like, you know, whenever like, you're playing Mortal Kombat. And you got two people fighting in the background at the pit, and it's like rain and blaze. Um, like if you had, the, if he was just in the background, just fighting somebody, you know, him and Spawn just fighting, I wouldn't have batted an eye. I probably wouldn't even notice. It just blended, you know, it just belonged there. Um, yeah. So uh, this this is my son, by the way. Uh, his name is uh, Violator. He he he's kind of a bad person, but we're working on it. You know, he's going to therapy. He's uh. He's getting along with his brothers better now. They, you know, they have all their limbs back. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so I guess that wasn't even that much of a negative. Where do I put this? This thing's huge. Uh, but anyways, that wasn't even much of a negative. So I guess I was actually just all positive. But that's okay because I feel very positive. Um, do I think this is like the best movie ever? No, 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 no movie is except for like John Carpenter's The Thing. That kind of is the best movie ever, but I have a video on that coming out in like a month, so just you wait. Ooh, I'm teasing the audience with, I actually might deliver this one, but I hardly deliver any of my promises. Ooh, ooh, oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I was for you, Zach. Uh, anyways, so, though, um, wait, hold on, this is also for you, since it, since it was the rock. <laughs> there you go, that's all awesome for you, Zach. Alright, anyways, though, um, yeah, that, those were my thoughts on, uh, Black Adam. I loved everything in the movie. No, I loved everything about the movie. Just not exactly everything in the movie. I loved the movie, but I didn't love. I don't know, like, it is definitely, like, a 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 
Because, see, when Black Adam's doing his cool stuff, he is the baddest mofo ever. And, like, Hawkman steals the show. Like, I was wanting a Hawkman movie. You know, like, Peacemaker... You know, John Cena, like, Peacemaker got himself a TV show off of the movie. I want the Hawkman show. Where the Hawkman show at? I would deadass watch a Hawkman show if we got that actor back. Because he was great. I want to just watch it for any, any character. I don't like Hawkman that much. But I like that actor that much. If he comes back, I will watch any show y'all put him in. Uh, or movie for that matter. Because um, he was great. Dr. Fate was alright. Adam Smasher, um, Adam Smasher and Cyclone were alright. They were kind of like, there. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't really feel much towards Adam Smasher or Cyclone. Like I just said, they were alright. Um, there's part of the movie where, like, the Justice Society go to negotiate with Black Adam. And for some reason, Adam Smasher just has, like, a bucket of KFC. I mean, it's not KFC, but just has a bucket of chicken for some reason. And he's just, like, chowing down on some chicken wings. Like, what? I don't know. It's just so random. You know? Like, where where did you get those, man? Tell me where you got those in Kandak. Well, I mean, I guess, I don't know. Because it wasn't, it was just a bucket of chicken. It wasn't KFC. You know? But, like, what the, What? What? You know? I don't know. But, I digress. It's fine. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, like I said, 7 out of 10. I really like the movie. What'd I say? Oh, 7 out of 10. I really like the movie, but I thought it was really good. And, yeah, that's about it. Alright, scavenger out.